What's up guys and welcome back to Five Nights at Candy's 2 Playable Animatronics. In the last video, we played as Candy, Cindy, the Penguin, and just about a few other characters that were super fun and really, really crazy. And uh, well, in today's video, we're hopping back into the character select screen, and we're going to be playing as some more fun characters. So we have Withered Chester here, Cat, Rat, and the mysterious character that we don't know who he is. But you guys know what to do if you guys want a chance to win a free copy of FNAF VR Help Wanted. All you do to enter is leave a like on the video down below, leave a comment down below saying FNAF, and hit that subscribe button and little bell icon. Icon, and that is it you're entered i'm gonna be choosing the winners in a few days here so be sure to enter before it ends but anyways let's go ahead and get into this all right so like i said we played as withered candy we played as withered blank who i really wish we could like hop at people as him like he did in, in five nights of candy's one withered cindy and withered penguin and he was actually really fun he's so small and like low to the ground and fast but unfortunately his attack was kind of eh, you know it was kind of boring in my personal opinion he's kind of like jump scared a camera and that was it but now we have some like really exciting animatronics to play as we have we have withered chester cat rat and the mysterious animatronic like i said before i'm mostly excited for cat and rat though because these guys actually look really really crazy looking like look at this they're constantly shaking twitching and just looking insane but let's go ahead and hop in and press go by the way guys should i do a video on his other game i don't know if, i'm assuming since he's done ooh, wait a second hold on so we just creepily walk in what the heck enter the vents to take out the night guard before 6 a.m Ooh, something new okay cool but like i was saying i'm assuming since this is five nights at candies 2 playable animatronics there should be a five nights at candies 1 playable animatronics so i don't know for sure though like i said i haven't looked at all but if you guys do want to see that be sure to smash like on the video down below whoa we're really fast what the oh what what am i doing oh i'm knocking on the vent what the oh my god you can go through the vents as him okay i didn't okay i thought we'd be able to like actually walk in them so i have to find the right vent that i can go through to get to her okay this should be fun let's try this one out right here let me in i'm just gonna knock on the vent until it lets me in <laughs> what the heck why am i knocking okay here we go come on let me in there we go oh oh god i feel a sneeze coming guys get ready i'll let you know if it's gonna come out but oh we're actually going through the vent to go after her that is so cool oh you win okay that was pretty cool so we actually crawled through the vent to get to her. Huh. <coughs> oh, I told you guys I had a sneeze coming. Oh my gosh. I'm going to say thank you now because I know every, every time I sneeze in a video, if I leave it in, I've noticed like if I take it out, obviously you guys don't know what happens. But if I accidentally leave it in or if I leave it on purpose, it's like every comment is like, bless you, bless you, bless you. So thank you because I'm sure I'm going to get the comments. All right. So that was Chester though. But I do want to try something here. I want to try going to a different vet and seeing if we can go in it and if anything new happens. I wish this game had, like, more secrets in it, you know? Like, I wonder if we go to an event closer to her, what will happen? Because we went through that one, went to this one, and it took us over there. So, oh, man, he's so fast. It kind of sucks. Like, he's so quick, but well, we can only go through vents to get to her? Let's try going through the door and see if it'll let me. Ah, uh, no, you cannot go that way. All right, let's try this vent right here. Where should this take us, though? This should still take us to the ending, right? Oh, what the heck? Where am I? Okay, I'm in some hallway. Oh, I'm back here at the beginning. Oh, so if you get the wrong vent, it just takes you back to the beginning, I think. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess we can go into this one. Oh, I'm so close. <laughs> Let's just jump scare her again, just so we can get, get onto the next animatronic. I mean, he's cool, but I, just, I feel like there, there should be more with these guys, you know? Like, being able to actually go through the vent ourselves, and maybe there's, like, a camera in here that, you know, will send us back to the beginning. Like, it's kind of like a maze kind of thing. I don't know. This would be really cool. All right, there we go. We got the jump scare on her. You win. All right, so now we get into the more exciting animatronics. We're going to have Rat and Cat. And, uh, oh, boy, I'm excited. Let's start with Cat and let's hop in. Let's see what the intro is for this one. Oh, here we go. It's going to open the door, isn't it? Oh. Whoa. Oh. He's just standing there creepily. Okay, this one's just take out the night guard. Oh, so this one's pretty simple. Whoa, look at our shadow. Even our shadow is shaking. And we also have, like, a different noise. Watch it. Listen. Whoa, we have like some different footsteps and look at our giant shadow. What? Okay, well, I need to, I need to cool down. Look at this. Our shadow looks so crazy looking. Okay, now I lost my shadow. <laughs> it's behind me now. Come on, shadow. I need you to be in front of me. There it is. Oh my gosh, dude. We look crazy looking. Wow. Okay, so let's go this way. Let's make our way to her now. She should be... Uh, let's go to this door right here because it's close to her. If it'll let me in, that is. It's kind of weird that it doesn't let you in certain doors. Oh, come on. I can't go in that door. Does it want me to go through this one? Yeah, it does. Okay, I've got to over... I'm overheating. 
All right, this is gonna be tough, but I gotta make it to her before we overheat. Come on, quick, 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 got her. There we go, you win. All right, so once again, another really simple one. Man, I was hoping for more with her, but I guess it is what it is. Cause like, come on, it's rat and cat. You gotta do more with them than just that. Like, come on. All right, let's go in with the rat though. Let's see what this is like. I love how they have like their own each like individual intro. Dang, he broke down that door. He's angry. Oh, his head's shaking too. Oh, what the heck? We have like constant night vision now. And there's creepy talking in the background. Let's try this side down. Let's see if we can go through here. Oh, come on, dude. This overheating thing. Let's try it from here. Come on, let me in. Oh, you can go in from here. Okay, what about this one over here? There's a door right here. Let's see if we can go into it. Come on, game. Let me in. Let's see. Oh, you can. Okay, wait. Is there another door down here? Let me see. Oh, my. Dude, this overheating thing is literally the worst thing in the game. Okay, is there a door? There is a door down here. Can we go in it, though? Oh, we can. Okay, this is perfect. We'll definitely be able to jump scare her pretty easily from here. Come on, come on, come on. She flashed and go. Got her. There it is. It really is that simple. Man. All right, so that was rat and cat. Definitely not what I was expecting, though. I was hoping for a little bit more. But now... We have this character, which you guys know, I started it in the last video, and, well, it was pretty interesting. We heard the Shrek theme song. We heard, like, he took out an animatronic. I think it was Cat or Candy. I don't know. <laughs> I think it was Candy, actually. So, uh, yeah, this should be interesting. I might have to mute the audio in the background of this one because if it's, if it's Shrek's theme song, <laughs> I obviously can't have that playing in the video, but let's see. Let's My do dear. it. Yep, here we go. Here we go, guys. All right, so if you hear some, like, non-copyrighted music here, you know why. Oh, my God. He looks so creepy. Oh, my. What? What the heck? Okay, the music stopped. Cool. Take out the night guard before Jeez, 6 man, why are there so many phones in here? What is this? The phone company? What is this guy? What? Oh, my gosh. He can't even stand up straight. Is this supposed to be like purple guy? Who is this? Okay, uh, system is intoxicated. Oh my gosh. We're so fast. Jeez, Dervis, where the f am I gonna get more bones? Oh I my god. Close my own hands. Okay, Not wow. I have no face flexes whatsoever. Wow, he is upset. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get to her here. Let's run. Run for it. Come on, she's right there. Oh, I got her. That's it. <laughs> that was it. Just that little jump scare. Uh, okay, that's an interesting I have no idea who that is. I don't know who that's supposed to be if that's like some kind of like His like personal character or if that's from some kind of movie It kind of looked like he was from like half-life or something, but I have no idea Well guys, that was the five nights at candies to play as the animatronics overall Like I said, it was a pretty fun game, but I do have you know some problems I really wish every character had their own unique ability like I loved how penguin had his own unique ability and uh, who else? Chester, you know, he had the vents. Penguin had the jump scare on the monitor. But then Cat and Rat and everybody else. I'm pretty... I don't think Withered Blank had one. Let me see, actually. I don't think he did. Yeah. Oh. See, this I like. I like how every character had their own intro. That's cool. Look at that. He just casually walks in. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, see? He has the same thing as everyone else. So, I do wish the animatronics had each their own objective. Because I feel like having the same animatronic have the same objective, or, you know, different animatronics having the same objective, I feel like that's kind of like a waste in, you know, my personal opinion. It'd be great to be able to play as Blank, and he has some kind of, like, hopping attack or something like that, or maybe you have to... I don't, I don't remember how he attacked in Finds Candies 2, though. That's the thing. But I just remember in 1, I'm pretty sure he would jump in through the window. So, if there is a Finds Candies 1 remake, you know, with playing as animatronics, I really hope that's what he's done in that one. One. And if there isn't that game yet, I really hope he does it after this one. But definitely add some more, you know, some more character to each character, if that makes any sense. <laughs> some more replayability, too. Like, add some secrets in. Add some different attack styles. It would be great if every character had their own, like, different attack on her. Because every character has the same attack. Like, if I go in here, oh, I cannot go that way. Okay, I guess if I don't go in there. But, like, every character has the same kind of jump scare. It would be really cool if every character had, like, a different jump scare for her. All right, let's try to do this real quick. I got to do it quick. I'm going to overheat right before I get to her. Yep. How the heck do you do Blank again? I remember Blank is hard. Oh, yeah. The phone is ringing, though. How do you pick it up? I just noticed that because every time we've played and we've passed this phone, it's rung, but I can't pick it up because the door gets in the way. But the why is it ringing? Kind of creepy. Is there a phone somewhere else around here? Hold on. I want to look around a little bit. There might be a secret if we can find it. Something to do with that phone. Because why else does it keep going off? 
Come on, let's reset. Come on. Oh, here's a phone right here. Let's try it. Hello? <laughs> I can't pick it up, but here it is. Oh, you lose. 6 a.m. All right. Well, guys, that was Finance Kings 2, playable animatronics. Like I said, I really hope he does Finance Kings 3, Finance Kings 1. I think that'd be great. You guys seem to really be enjoying this series, too. So I'm really hoping that there's more after this. But like I said, my main problem is new objectives. Um, maybe different, I don't know, I wouldn't say different maps, but different jump scares. And just a few other things I've mentioned throughout the videos that I can't remember right now. But if you guys have any suggestions, let them know in the comment section down below if he sees this video. Uh, maybe he'll add it into the next one. But yeah, I would definitely love to see Pirates Games 1 and 3 if you guys haven't already done those. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and little bell icon to be first to videos. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.